Hello. Before I say anything, I would like to remind you that this is my second channel. I've received more than one indication that some viewers aren't aware that I have a primary channel called Pocket83. This is just for miscellaneous cutoff stuff. This isn't the central focus that I have in with respect to video making. Anyhow, on with the show. These are railroad spikes. And do you want to guess how old they are? Take a crack. Almost exactly 100 years. This is what 100 years of Pennsylvania does to railroad tracks. Or spikes specifically. This is the modern version. This is the 2016 model and as you can see it's nearly at an optimum. The design has remained virtually unchanged for a century. But that's not the point. I thought this was incredibly interesting. I don't know how long this was in service but this is just a small section of track. I can't even speculate. I wouldn't know where to begin. But this is a piece that's never been used. Look how the profiles line up. Nearly perfectly. But look how service has smashed it flat. Even steel retains some malleability and over time it compresses. I mean, come on, they're trains. Like, they're crazy heavy. I just thought that was really neat. And as a side note, I once looked at a house where, well, consider the culture here in western Pennsylvania. Our construction is, I forget what this type of framing is called, but it's not balloon framing. It's just floor joists with beam support and posts periodically. Well, if you look at this, Hold on, I'll cut and give you a comparison. If you look at the beam in comparison to a train track, they're very similar in size. And with respect to their functionality, they do virtually the, the same thing. The only reason that it's shaped like an eye is because the, the, the parts of the material here and here are removed because they're not as essential to the functionality of load distribution. Anyhow, uh, there was a house that we looked at and considered buying and they instead in the place of an I-beam they actually had an old railroad track. <laughs> and it looked as though it were used and the house was probably in the 70 year old range. So they were tracks that were taken out of service and they were repurposed as I-beams in the coal mining culture of western Pennsylvania. And in, in case you're wondering about this, uh, that's just a magnet. This is pretty useful. I have a how-to or about video on my primary channel for that and I will put a link down there and I will see you later.